Good morning, it's Paul Hodgson here from Box of Frogs here in the UK. I came across recently a piece of software that's in beta trial from Nikon called NXD, N for November, X for Xylophone, D for Delta. If you do a, an internet search, a Google or Yahoo type search for NXD, you'll come across uh, a link that will download the software. Now, my understanding is that it's been considered as a replacement for uh, Capture NX2. I don't personally think it's in a condition, currently at least, to replace NX2 because there are a number of quite important features that are missing, like the healing tool, uh, the ability to tone your images. Uh, anyway, a whole number of things that, that's missing. If anything, I'd personally say it's more likely to be a replacement for view nx it gives you many more controls than are in view nx um but not as many that's in nx2 anyway let me just have a let me just pull this up for you um and this is the user interface this is nx2 that we're looking at the current iteration of the beta trial software and uh, i just wanted to show you very briefly um what I think of it, I actually I, I like it. I think it's a good piece of software from what I've seen so far. Very limited in certain areas, but you know, on the whole, um, it's okay. So recently, I did a, a corporate shoot, um, and this was just a test image while I was getting my lights set up. Um, the key light, the front light, uh, wasn't uh, anywhere near powerful enough, but I just wanted to show you. Um, what's achievable through this now I haven't seen quite the same clean result uh, that I'm about to show you from within view NX a uh, view NX2 sorry anyway so um, shot at uh, ISO 640 um, and as you can see it's too dark what it's picking up here on the front of this chaps uh, front of his body is is the ambient light from a window that was coming from camera right. Um, I dropped if it ultimately dropped the ISO so that uh, I controlled all of the light rather than just got some of it. But anyway, um, we've got some controls over here which you might be able to see, which you should be able to see, and then there's some controls down at the bottom. I'll do a future video on on these. Right now, I'm just going to work with these. Now, one of the things I find a little confusing. And counterintuitive is if I make um, some adjustment to this image and then hit this button over here which says multi preview and then gives me the option of looking at before and after the screen does indeed split into two images but it shows me exactly the same altered image rather than the unaltered and then the altered to see where the differences are so the way to get around that before you even make any adjustments is to hit the compare before and after and as you can see the um, legend here before and then after this white retention box is the box that we're going to be working on um, so over here what have we got um, the adjustments so I can if I wanted to increase and decrease by a full stop uh, or a negative stop Actually, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave white balance alone. I just want to come down to here to the picture control. Because actually, this almost backlit subject, actually, I preferred in monochrome. So I'm going to hit monochrome. And as you can see, it's, um, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not fantastic. And it's certainly blocking here. But then once we've done that, I'll move over to these two. You've got two options, um, tone and tone adjust detail. I've hit or I've clicked on tone adjust or certainly tone detail and I'm going to open up some of the shadows I'm going to do it fairly aggressively right up to 70 but you can see it's losing contrast so here what I'm going to do is use the tone button and add about 40 points of contrast to give it some more uh, what, definition but importantly right now, I mean, it, to me, it looks pretty good. The shadows opened up nicely. I'm going to hit control and the number eight. 
and what this is doing is it's revealing to me um, a view of the image at 50 percent just bring it back down a little now right down at the bottom oops, right down at the bottom here you see this these two circular spinning arrows it's still creating the detailed preview but on first view I actually I think that's pretty good and it's something that I wasn't going to be able to achieve I've noticed quite as good as this in view x2 and that's it uh, it's as simple as that actually so I'm going to hit control zero to give me a full view of the image um, if I altered if I took this off so you've got these um, square boxes over here with and as soon as you make an adjustment in, in, in any of these boxes you get this tick so if I click the tick and remove it it'll, re it'll return the, uh, the image to a color image where yes it's re opened the shadows <clears throat> But giving the uh, the original uh, quality of the the original photograph, I think the the color image suffers somewhat. I'd need to add some additional points of of contrast, really, to make it begin to shine this image. In. Yeah, and yes, I recognise it's not a, the greatest of images, but I think in black and white in monochrome, I think the, con the contrast is a little bit too high now. Um, I, don't, I actually don't mind it so much anyway video wasn't actually about necessarily the quality of the image it was it was just showing what sort of adjustments can be made in this beta of capture nx d for delta anyway um hope it was useful uh, my suggestion is go and download it it is free and uh, let's see where nikon take it thanks very much